I'm Nina Curley from WAMDA. We're here live in the WAMDA studio at Aeronet with Iyad Kamel, the COO of Aeronet. Iyad, how are you? Good, good. How are you? Excellent. I'm good. Uh, are you enjoying Aeronet so far? Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty nice event. I think uh, comparing it with last year, it's, uh, it's doing and improving and doing better and better. I agree. So let's chat about what's new at Aramex from an e-commerce standpoint. There's actually a couple of uh, issues that we're working on nowadays, uh, one of which is uh, mainly coming up with a, uh, a package solution for, uh, for e-commerce sites and startups in, in, in the region. So what we're doing is uh, whether it's uh, shipping rates, whether it's warehousing rates, uh, uh, we're trying to come up with these special, let's say, offering for e-commerce in specific, whereby it will be affordable for them to use our services uh, to, for, as, as a startup. So that's one 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 area that we're focusing on. Another area that we're is being focused on is the uh, is uh, the integration that is happening, the IT stuff between e-commerce sites and the back-end fulfillment systems of Aramix. So uh, we're coming up with technologies and uh, let's say fast ways for e-commerce uh, sites to more or less seamlessly and fastly integrate with the Aramix track and trace systems. Uh, another area is basically us uh, supporting e-commerce initiatives within the region whether it could be um, merely just uh, consulting and giving advice to all these new startups uh, across the region, what they should do, what they should not do, what should they should avoid and so forth. So that's probably the three areas that we're uh, focusing on. I see, so you're really helping the little guys come online. Yeah, exactly. So the, the majority of the, uh, of, of the uh, e-commerce sites that, uh, and customers that we are, we're talking to are startups. So they're, uh, uh, they come to us uh, for advice. And they, of course, they come to us uh, for solutions because you know if you're selling a product online, <coughs> at the end of the day, there has to be a, a party that's going to deliver that package. So that's why naturally they would come to Aramix for such a solution. Yeah, they're lucky that you guys continue to iterate and develop the product. I mean, everybody I talk to uses Aramix. It's it's you're the, the biggest game in town. Yeah. It's, um, uh, yes, we have a, we have a, a pretty good market share. Yeah, and then we also probably, we have a very good, let's say, uh, market share uh, in the e-commerce domain in, in particular. So I, the majority of the e-commerce sites that you, you hear about that are coming up in, the, in this part of the world, more or less all of them use uh, automatic services in a way or, or another. Yeah. So when it comes to, you know, if I just wanted to launch an e-commerce site tomorrow, how can I think about what people are actually buying in the region? I'm sure you have data on that. Yeah, actually, the the data that we have is from our shop and ship product, which is a which is an e-commerce product. We've been, it's, we've launched it more than uh, more than probably eleven years ago. So uh, there's a there's a huge amount of data that uh, we uh, you can derive from the shop and ship, uh, let's say, uh, trends and and information. Uh, people, if you look at our data from shop and ship, a lot of people, uh, the number one probably category that people buy uh, are apparel, clothes. So people just, you know, they go online, they like to buy clothes. And then you have a lot of people would buy books and DVDs as a second category. And then the rest of the categories, you, the number three will probably be uh, uh, IT or telecom or uh, 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 let's say computer accessories and so forth. And then what is interesting about the, the data there is that you would, we would find a, uh, the data is a reflection of what's happening in terms of trends in technology. So whenever a new product is being launched, uh, globally, whether it's in a new Apple uh, product or any other uh, high-tech uh, new uh, device, uh, that will have a direct effect on the, on the, on the portfolio and the, of the shop and ship product for that, let's say, quarter for that year. Yeah, makes sense. And what are some of the challenges that, if, again, if I want to start up a business tomorrow, what are some of the biggest challenges that I am going to want to look at that you've seen companies have difficulties with? There are. Uh, there are a bit of challenges, uh, probably not challenges as a chat, but there's things that you have to pay attention to very closely when you want to launch an e-commerce site. Uh, to, to name a number of them, the first thing that you need to look into is, of course, uh, a lot of talk is about, okay, how can I get uh, clients to pay for the products and services that they're going to be buying from my site? So I think the payment issue is, going to, is, is an issue that needs to be uh, looked into. Uh, in, in depth, uh, uh, one of the, from our, uh, from our uh, business models that we have and from the business that we handle on behalf of clients across the region, uh, COD, cash on delivery, is, is very popular. Uh, and I think it's going to remain a popular, uh, a popular, uh, let's say, service offering for a couple of reasons, one of which is the uh, penetration, uh, penetration of credit card penetration is still 
uh, still not there to the levels it is in, at the, in the West. So that means that COD service will remain uh, attractive for people to use to pay for the goods. Uh, secondly, it depends on the portfolio of clients that you're selling. So there are some clients that you know you would never expect them to have a credit card in the first place. Okay, they do, these are like people who like to buy uh, small items and they would not want to pay with using their credit card for those items. So that's where you'll find the growth and uh, popularity of of, uh, of the COD, COD service. Uh, another issue that is is a challenge uh, uh, within this part of the world is the cross border trade. So. When you launch an e-commerce site, of course, you're not going to launch an e-commerce site just and say that, okay, I'm just going to sell in Lebanon or in Kuwait or in Saudi. You're automatically going to have to sell within the region. So uh, one of the challenges there is the cross-border trade. Uh, I think the, the Gulf countries in particular, the GCC countries, have an advantage there whereby they have a unified uh, and more or less low customs duties uh, percentage on product and uh, products uh, that go into those countries. So <coughs> I think that is where, and you can, that is automatically reflected on the growth of, of e-commerce in those countries. So you'll find Saudi Arabia, of course, being the largest market. The fact that there is a unified customs duties on no matter what type of product you buy at a small percentage, that is a great advantage. That is, now that is a disadvantage, of course, for countries uh, in this part of the world, let's say Levant countries, whether it's Jordan, Lebanon, and, and so forth, whereby customs duties uh, and tariffs are pretty high. So until that issue is, is tackled, I think we're going to remain at the handicap in the Levant countries of encouraging people to buy, uh, to buy online. It's there, but we can do much, much more, and we can have a much, uh, much more larger uh, e-commerce market share if we were able to solve the, uh, <coughs> the challenge of, of, of duties. Yeah. And what are the relevant stakeholders doing to, you know, evolve the way that, that governments are handling their duties or that banks are creating payment gateways? Can Aramex speak to that? Can you speak to that? Well, uh, I think we're, as a company, Aramex, we are actively involved by talking to all entities, okay? Because, you know, at the, at the end of the day, especially when you have a cross-border trade, uh, 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 let's say, a transaction, Automatically, you're dealing with uh, customs authorities, you're dealing with airlines, you're dealing with uh, free zone authorities and so forth. So we continuously talk to them on behalf of our clients, of course, because at the end of the day, we want to facilitate trade and e-commerce. And uh, we have the perspective of all e-commerce sites, not one specific e-commerce site. So when we go and talk to the entities, whether governmental institutions or free zones and so forth, we would go and talk to them on behalf of all our clients. Uh, these are the challenges, and these are the things that our clients are suffering from. So <clears throat> we have to work together and make sure that these issues are solved. And one of the initiatives that we're actually working on nowadays is to see how we can come up with a ecosystem whereby we'll have all stakeholders involved, okay, in, in, <clears throat> in tackling and discussing uh, the issues that are let's say the challenges and the issues that are needed, uh, that are required to be solved to be able to grow e-commerce in the fashion and manner that we would like it to grow. Whether it's in sitting and have, coming up with a group that will have companies like Aramex as a logistics operator, or companies like, we have free zone authorities, we'll have customs authorities, and we'll have a, a group of e-commerce sites who can sit on the table and explain to all these, uh, you know, to the group, uh, what, are, what, what they're going through and come up with actual solutions to solve these problems and, and make e-commerce grow in the in the manner it should. Great, so it's not only as those startups can look to you as just a logistics company, you know, or, or just a cash on delivery solution, but or, or technical solution for their e-commerce, but you're also going to be hopefully creating a group that can push for change. Definitely. That is I think that's a must. And again, we have the perspective of all. And we 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 have our uh, you know we have good relationship with our clients of course, and that's why they entrusted us to give us uh, their business. And they also, uh, with doing that, they also they expect us to go and improve on our processes internally, internally and externally. So internally is to make sure that we can deliver their packages faster. We can relay information on their packages back to them as uh, fast also in an efficient manner. But at the same time, they also expect us to go and solve their problems with third parties, whether it's customs. Government, uh, organize, government or organize, uh, institutions or free zone of their authorities and so forth. Great. Well, I hope maybe if we chat at AirNet in a year, we can see all the progress that's been made. We hope so. We hope so. Thank you very much. Good. Thanks, Yad. Thanks Thank for you. Chatting. Thanks.